Since the United States Army, since 1775, well before that we formed this country, these are the fellas and the ladies that come into battle. They're the first ones in and the last ones to leave, thanks to the United States Army. But it is the United States Marine Corps. see them coming. And you'll feel them coming. Good job of the United States Marine Corps. We thank them. Let's go all the way to the waters. How about the United States Navy? And the cool thing is, as it flies above tonight, that is your T-6. Developed by the Texan in the late 30s as we bring out the United States Air Force as they fly right over us. Big thanks to our pilot, Larry Noob. Of course, the United States Air Force put it all together when they come from the air. They will drop the bomb on you, I'll guarantee it. How about it for the United States Coast Guard? Protecting our borders from coast to coast, of course. From Canada to Mexico, all the way from the Atlantic to the Pacific. And without, without leaving one out, that is the United States Space Force, yeah, don't forget about them. Whatever they do. United States Space Force, that is the newest branch of service here to the Americas. So let's don't forget though, one flag that we keep living out, that is our POW and missing in action flag. As there's one, only, only one flag besides the stars and the stripes that has ever flown over the White House. Of course, the display to the Capitol Rotunda. This is a POW and the MIA flag that holds a special place, not just in our presentation, but also into our hearts. It also reminds us that somewhere there are soldiers, sailors, Marines, and even airmen that may in fact be held against their will. On this flag, there's a faceless man that represents the men and women that are not only the service members, but also fathers, Mothers, sisters, brothers, sons, and even daughters. Below the silhouette is a pledge we owe them that says you are not forgotten. For all the men and women that we have not found. For all the men and women that have fought for our country, that have sat any one time inside of a prisoner of war camp, we say thank you. So I ask you one more time, folks, how many of you are proud to live in the greatest country in all the world? Well, without further ado, this is the VFW Hall of Post 6441, and with VFW Halls all across this country for our veterans of foreign wars, we fly this flag inside this arena because it means so much to us, and it should mean a lot to you as well. The men and women that fight for our country, they come home, they deserve all the rewards. It's not just the extra cookies, it's all of it. They deserve every bit of what we give them, and that's what we should owe them. Big thanks to the men and women that fight for our country each and every day, and we say thank you to all the men and women that have served this country one way or another, from the Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard, and the Space Force. If you're proud of living in the greatest country in the world. Let them know it tonight. <laughs> 